guys, Deadpool finally came out, and after all the controversy, I have to say, it is an awesome movie. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another edition of Gear Breaker Nation, where we give excellent assessment and reviews. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing Deadpool. Deadpool is a 2016 superhero action film, and it follows Wade Wilson, who's pursuing the mysterious man behind the Weapon X program that gave him his powers, but also scarred his physical appearance. This movie is just fantastic on so many levels, and I am so glad that I went to watch it. As a Deadpool film, it was on point. As a superhero film, it was on point. The story was pretty interesting, the way that it was set up, especially the romance factor that helped bring a bit of an emotional attachment to the film, and it was done really well. I also like the fact that it had this present past uh, feel to it, where there are things happening in the present, but it also takes you back to the past where things were building up. So that way it actually kept the film at a really good pace and kept everything interesting. Of course, the film is best noted for the action sequences that were done really well, that were really action packed, that were really gory, that were really funny. The action was really on point. There were some really good stunts. Deadpool moved like Deadpool would in the comics where he was really acrobatic, really had the agility down pack. So I was really appreciating that. The comedy, of course, is on point. Not only from Ryan Reynolds, who does a fantastic job as Deadpool, but the cast all around did a fantastic job with the execution of the comedy. It had a really good set of humor, not only with the characters, but really with the dialogue and the delivery. And I really appreciated that. Now, Ryan Reynolds, as I said, did a fantastic job as Deadpool. The guy was clearly just born for this role. He just executes the seriousness. He executes the humor. There is just everything I love about Deadpool in Ryan Reynolds. He, this is definitely the role for him. Also, Marina Bacaran did a, a really awesome job. I really love the character. And you can tell that these two actors have really good chemistry on set. Their characters were done really well. And you really feel for the characters. You really enjoy the characters. That they have this great chemistry together. That they have this really good relationship. And then when Wilson is just diagnosed with this illness, you, you feel sorry for them. This chick right here was awesome. The Negasonic Teenage Warhead was badass. I loved her personality. I loved her power, which was really destructive. Gina Carano as this chick was badass. I really loved her. I liked how they represented her powers. I really liked how they sat there and actually just made her look like a badass, and she actually pulled the badass role off. This movie definitely deserves an R rating. The soundtrack was also pretty badass, too. DMX came in at one point and it was like oh yeah this is a really badass moment with the slow motion say that the movie does deliver on the comedy this literally has to be one of the most funniest films of 2016. Colossus was completely badass in this film the dude was big he was intimidating he was really strong and that's like the one that's like the image of Colossus that we know from the comics and it's pretty cool because they use Colossus as kind of the moral compass of the film and it kind of contrasts between him and Deadpool so there is a lot of witty dialogue with that. Now the film is overall is great but I did have a few problems with it Notably, how Deadpool kind of got his powers, which I thought was a... No, Ajax was an alright villain because he had a lot of good personality, which I did like about his character, but I didn't really care for him because he felt one-dimensional, and he didn't feel too much of a threat like I thought he would be. So, that was that point, too. Also, the film does feel a bit like the Wolverine, where he had a superhero fighting all of these non-superpowered people, so it doesn't feel, you never feel the sense that he's being threatened. A Deadpool is an awesome film. Superhero fans would definitely enjoy it. Ryan Reynolds completely kills his Deadpool. We have really good characters, a lot of funny and witty dialogue, some really great action sequences, interesting and very emotionally powerful story. Everything's just done in a really good way. This is definitely the best of Deadpool possibly could have been and I have to say that Deadpool definitely deserves a four out of five. I highly recommend people go out and go see Deadpool. It is definitely worth the money. So guys in the comment section below let me know 
Did you see Deadpool and did you enjoy it? And I guess to catch you guys next edition of Get Breaker Nation. And remember, keep those gears turning.